Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm actually going to be covering quite a, I don't want to say quite a few, eh, quite a few topics. We'll go out and say it. There's probably four or five different things that I want to talk about, but mainly I want to talk about uh, the game and just some easy basics in the game. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is a blitz thing, but before I get to that, the reason I'm saying some easy basics is um, based on some comments I've got from players in the game. I'm level 59. I just turned 59. And if you go to my profile, you can see my strongest team's 82, and then I've got uh, another, you know, with Quake in there, it's 79. Reason that the difference is if I fill in Night Nurse there, it's uh, that gets me to the 82. So people have kind of mentioned to me, you know, for where, and this has been kind of happening throughout while I've been playing this, that, you know, for my level, my STP has been pretty solid, and so. Uh, and I'm just going to show you kind of a, and this is just our alliance, you know, but you see a lot of, you see a lot of 60s in here um, with very high STPs, much higher than mine. Um, and eventually you drop me in here, you know, where it's like, okay, I'm at an 82 and you still got quite a few 60s. Now, again, it's just my alliance, um, but I find this in global as well. Uh, and then we've got some in the 70s similar, but uh, outside of myself and Big Diesel and uh our particular alliance you know it's not towards you get to mo in the bottom one two three four five six seven eight that you know you're really talking about non 60s in that range so I got the idea I was like you know what I, I should share some of the things that I did to do that um, it helps me in raid a lot it helps me in arena helps me in blitz so um, and frankly I mean that's most of the game so uh, I'll get to that in a bit, but first um, I want to talk about Blitz. So we've got about an hour and 16 minutes in this uh, Tremors, Quake, Shards, Blitz um, weekend run. Um, I'll say that if you notice here, I'm at 99%, Milestone 14. Um, that's by far the farthest I've ever gotten. Um, I still expect to be in the top 10%, which sucks, um, but it is what it is. Now, granted, uh, in this particular blitz run, the reason I think I'm as high as I am is because of the quicker clock on your um, using your blitz recharges. But I wanted to show just kind of what, um, and, and again, my strategy for this has been similar to what I did in different videos where I've got, you know, my top team, you know, there's four bars in blitz. And whenever I get the opportunity, and I'm in tier seven, I almost got to tier eight, but typically I'm anywhere from four to seven. And when I get that first fight, I use my top team to get as many points as possible. See, if I win this, I get 16,000 points. Now that's, again, I know that, you know, for higher tier players, they're, I think, in the 20s and 30s. But for, I'd say, us regular type players who aren't there, um, this is an important, you know, aspect to understand. So I'm probably going to lose one here and then come back and win the next one. Um, but I wanted to show just a real quick um, blitz fight here. And I'll probably use uh, my B team to start, which is actually... Um, it's Hawkeye, Sorceress, Electra, and then I've got Drax and Winter Soldier. That's my B, you know, Blitz team. Um, I like it because I've got some clears, I've got some, you know, taunting, and then I've also got some, you know, two strong assassination um, players to focus down uh, who I need to. So uh, this isn't bad. I can burn down. Um, I don't love having Wolverine in there. I don't want that. Um, that's not bad either actually I'm probably gonna go with this one because um, this way I can try to burn those two and ideally win it if I don't you know I only need 2,000 to meet the threshold and that's pretty much it so let's see how this goes focus on um, crossbones at first and then just try to clear the taunts off a of Hulk burning down um, bullseye and then um, I ideally Electra and spider-man but it depends who's got evades and all that kind of thing so I'm not going to go through the abilities as I'm doing these. That's a that's a different discussion. Um, I've got these kind of you know fights and uh, I don't want to say down pat. It's not down pat, but uh, I know how I kind of want to approach these guys. So I don't want to clear that taunt because that means I'm going to have to fight Hulk. Um, and I'm actually just going to make sure that I clear him there. I'm going to go ahead and use her ult. So now I'll go ahead and throw a heal out it, just because Hawkeye's getting a little low. Uh, let's see, Hulk's still got the taunt on. I'll clear that. And then I'm going to go at Bullseye first. Try to kill him before he gets his alt out. Got a couple bleeds in there, but I'm still going to need some... Got a 
blind in there, which is good. Let's see. All right, good. So now I'm gonna go at Spider-Man because uh, Electra's taunt or uh, stealth. She's unstealth, but I want to take out Spidey first. I believe this is gonna kill him good. Now I will go at Electra. Get another heal out there. All right, good. Everybody's still doing. Get her out now. This should be a win easy. So um, I thought I probably already had the win there, but it just you never know. So take him down. I'll get that threshold, and I will. Um, this is actually the first time that I've gotten the final milestone in Blitz. I'm not gonna keep pushing because, frankly, um, I'm at. There's only an hour left, and I'm not gonna keep using Blitz charges to. Uh, you know, do anything different than get top 10%. I'd love to try to get top 500, but let's be realistic. So, so it shows my blitz points earned, 607,000, uh, my most. I think most people are in the million range when they're in the top, you know, 500 or so. Um, top leaderboards earn that, uh, whatever. I'm not expecting to get that. I'd love to get 45 of her if I get more. Great. So anyway, that's a quick. And had I lost that, um, I would have just, you know, redone a. Uh, uh, a run with a easier uh, win. So I get that fi final milestone 14, which is the first time I've cleared that. Happy about it, especially with the Blitz um, for uh, Quake, who's, in my opinion, one of the more stronger players in the game. So now to the rest of the, what I wanted to talk about. Um, some easy basics of the game. To me, for those who don't know, uh, there's, you know, it, it, when you're starting, there's three major components. One, I just did Blitz. You want to get your Blitzes. Um, you want to get through these. They're sharp. They change, you know, every day or every couple days, or you know, it's the same over the weekend. You want to go through there to try to get your player um, the, the shards that you uh, you can build towards these heroes. It's the easiest way. It's especially for the free-to-play players. Um, it just makes things a lot easier to actually engage in those and to understand the strategy. So uh, focus on blitz if you can, um, if you get the time. You know, three times a day, ideally, but I won't get into the, you know, that's a little bit more. Arena, similar, you know, make sure you do this a few times a day. Um, you got five attempts, they're free. You can check and see, you know, what the different folks, you can refresh this here. Who else can I fight? Just look at the comps, look at that power. You know, I'm at 79, I try to fight someone, I'm not going to fight this guy at 92. But, and I look for a team comp that I might be able to fight, so there's... Uh, I got two uh, tickets or tokens, whatever you want to call them, left in about five hours. So I'm sitting at 21. I'll take a couple more attempts before that hours uh, click down. The next big thing to me is the campaigns. Now, this is kind of where you really build up your characters. First, when you first start playing, just do the campaigns. Straight up, just do the campaigns. Do the heroes assemble. Once you get a villain squad, start doing that. I'm not going to go into these other ones. You just go through, do the nodes. Try to, try to, and this. I'll just go to the first one. You know, go through and try to three star them so you can auto win. We'll talk about these mats here in a second. So those are the three biggest components in my mind to the game prior to joining an alliance, which you do raids. I'm not going to talk about that. So um, the part I really kind of want to focus on a little bit here is you know leveling your heroes in a um, in my mind a smart way. So your roster first, you kind of want to have an idea of what you think your eventual A team is going to be, and what I mean by A team is your your top team. Uh, do a little, even if you're just starting the game, you know, after you realize if you want to play this or not, or how long you're sticking it, just you want to start researching what you might want to have your A team be. In my particular situation, it's this top line. You know, Quake's a part of it, depending on what I'm doing, but this is the top. So, and you've got to understand each player so that you can uh, properly optimize their leveling and understand what you're the last mats you want to or mat, last pieces of gear you want to do so for my tank you know uh, captain america's a tank i focus on um, health resistance armor you know and that's these two health and armor um, and then uh, health and resistance and this one obviously the last one this one is actually just because of some you know resources that i wasn't unable to get in time this one where it's damage, I don't, it's great, but typically that's one of the last ones I get from him. In this case, it obviously isn't. I just happen to get that. Um, here, you, know, you get some armor and resistance, so it's okay. 
And then this is focus and damage. I don't normally on a tank, I don't care as much unless he's clearing something. Obviously, Captain America does need to clear. So focus is important. Let's look at crossbones is a little bit different for a tank because um, you actually care about his damage too. Um, again, I hate how it jumps, but this would have been something ideally I could have gotten sooner. But because of some of these mats, you know, I need 24 of those, which is insane. Um, but anyway, and then same thing here. I need some, you know, mats. Originally, I didn't have these, and then I used those on a different item. So, again, though, I want to get health. I want to get resistance, even though he's technically more of an off-tank kind of blast. Not a blaster, but, you know, he. I'm looking for him to do damage. But I need him to survive. So, tanks, That's again, that's what I'm focused on. I'm jumping to Drax. Now, here I haven't built it yet because I didn't have the items um, because he's purple. I don't... He's on my B team. I do not level this guy with purples until my A team's got him. He can sit here and that's going to show up until I use those ads on someone else. But the blues, I'll give him the blues all day long. So, and when I was um, earlier in the game, I, I used greens. Um, I'd get him all his greens and I wouldn't get him his blues until I knew my A team was to the next tier. Uh, same concept applies here. So um, I gave him this one, you know, here again, health and resistance. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's a purple, not focused on it. This one's a purple, not focused on it. So that's kind of how I approach tanks. Now, you know, damage dealers, um, different. I focus on this item here. Typically, that's your damage item. I make sure to get that one first. This one's also, um, depending on the character, can be damaged. Uh, but there's some health in there, too. It's, it's kind of all-encompassing to an extent. Um, this one's a focus with a little damage. Typically, this, uh, it's kind of like a headpiece, I want to say. But um, normally that's one of the last ones I get. And then depending, I always like getting tons of health. These, you know, 1,000 plus give you more health. Um, these two, again, health and resistance. And you start picking up the patterns for what these things are. Um, by the way, I think it's hilarious that at Tier 9 there's still a green in there. But um, another damage dealer, Yandu. Uh, you know, I fo as you can see here, I'm focusing on his damage, another damage piece. This I'm actually trying to get this one because I need him for some focus. Um, I'll probably use those advanced catalysts on this one here uh, to build that just to get a little bit more focus on them. But I focus in on these health and armor. It's also a blue, so I want to make sure to get him that blue before I give it to anybody else. Uh, Night Nurse, healer. Um, I typically um, health, armor, resistance, same thing. This damage, I don't care about giving her the damage. It's the last thing I'll give her. I'll probably give someone on B team before I give her that. Um, it depends because I want to get to tier 10, but uh, you get the idea. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I leveled those guys. Again, I focused, depending on, on the, the type of character and what their main role is, is I focused in on those particular pieces. You know, the tanks for armor and resistance, and depending what the character is here, and your a, a, a damage dealers, assassins, I focus on their damage. If you need to clear something, maybe a focus item, but then get in their health and resistance so they can last longer. Um, and I focus my A team first. You can see 17 through 15, 13, and then drops the 10s, 9s, 9s, and then 7s. It's a pretty severe drop off after that. Um, so that's, I mean, that's, again, there's a million different ways to do it. That's the way I liked to do it. I focused my A team. Um, and then actually after that, um, I'll tell you, as I focus these challenges, you want to make sure that you, you know, have, um, you know, people who can do, these challenges. Um, this one's a city. I'm not even there yet, so I'm not tier 60. But uh, you know, this challenge was everybody. Not worried about it for gold. Training day. Um, I don't remember. Is this everybody? Yeah, it seems to be everybody. Um, I'm trying to find the ones and ability enhancements. Okay, controllers and protectors. You want the. This is a huge um, challenge. You want to be able to get uh, as soon as you can, as high as you want. Because I mean, look, I'm getting. 12 um, tier 3 ability materials every single time I do one of those. So I wanted to get these guys up to be able to do that. And that's exactly what I did. Those were my controllers and protectors. Uh, I'd focus that one first, do that. Um, these uh, medical supply runs, eh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, I'm trying to remember who is these. Yeah, brawlers and support. Maybe, you know, that, I, I don't know if that's your next one. Obviously, I did it. Orb fragments, I thought were everybody, yeah. And then the one that I still have yet to do is my blasters. So these guys, I just, I'm still at tier five. I do not want to get these guys to 50 in, you know, um, what is it, uh, tier seven. 
mainly because I want to get, and I'll show you Iron Man, Rocket, Thor, probably even Wasp. Those are the ones I want to focus on getting that high. So I'm, as much as I love and need these catalysts, I can't do it. I just can't. I need, I'll sit here and auto win this tier four all day long until I get those guys and get them up. I'm not going to spend the resources to do it. So um, the challenges were the next thing that I did after getting um, my A team. And for me particularly after that, I went to my villains. Uh, I'll find it here. And, you know, I just started focusing these guys a little bit to make sure that they were the highest. Now, I didn't have Kingpin at the time, and I didn't have Hanster Entry, but it was Winter Soldier, Sorceress, and Electra. So I started getting those guys up to make sure I could do it. And then my miscellaneous heroes, and that's why you see Kingpin here. That's why you see Hand Sentry here. That's why you see Mordo here. I really like those three, especially I actually combine them in a group, and it, they're really solid. Um, and then I started going to my B team. Just, you know, whoever my B team might be, um, mainly for arenas and stuff, but... You know, you can see those miscellaneous characters um, kind of slipped in there, but my Hawkeyes, my Draxes, um, my Sorceress and the villain team, but building her up. So that's, again, that's my approach to the game. It's, you know, it might not be for everybody, but um, I found it really worked. Uh, my results, I believe, have been pretty good. You know, I'm, you know, in the 11 million range here, so I'm a fairly new player, about a month old. Um, I like my stats personally, 800 plus wins. Doing, again, Arena, obviously, I'm lucky to get in a certain bracket. I'm not with those beta players. I'm not going to sit here and you know think that I'm somehow some a stud Arena player. I got lucky, but still. Um, my STP and then you know doing the raids, we're 100%ing them pretty easily. Um, and and I, I think that's part of it. I mean, obviously, I'm one of 24, but you, you do that, and uh, you keep kind of grinding along and uh, focus that A-team, and I think you can build up pretty quick. So... Um, I hope this helped. Um, one last thing before I let you go is, you know, gold, most valuable resource in the game. So that's why I'm saying use that to level your players. You know, don't blow that stuff on, you know, things that you don't need and um, orbs or, you know, use the cores to refresh this campaign energy up to 50 every day. Use through that 50s. Um, and I think you can level up quick and, you know, get that team, you know, uh, up and strong. I have, I've used a little bit of money in the game, not tons. So um, I really think that anybody can do it. And, um, you know, from this point forward, I hope this helps. Um, that was just, uh, by the way, a uh, shout out to um, the uh, background here that I use. You can kind of see this is my desktop. So um, I use a, uh, a free to play recording called Blue Stacks. So it uh, helps me kind of do these videos. Um, if you've ever wondered uh, kind of how I'm recording as you see the mouse clicking. So again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it helps you. If it does, please leave some comments below. If there's something you disagree with or you think um, could be better, you know, leave that comment below too. I always like, you know, improving my game and, um, you know, I'd like to hear from others. And uh, please click the subscribe button um, if you want to see this, uh, see more videos like this and the like button as well. See you guys soon.